All right, thank you, Joe. Well, it's been a controversial idea since it was introduced five years ago, but now the debate is heating up over the possible Keystone XL pipeline project. Washington correspondent Lauren Adams talked to one local lawmaker about his thoughts on the expansion. She now joins us from Capitol Hill. Opponents say building the Keystone XL pipeline will contribute to global warming and create the possibility for an oil spill on American land. But supporters say the pipeline will create jobs and improve the United States relationship with Canada. This is real American jobs on American soil coming from American energy or North American energy. Republican Congressman Tom Reed supports the project. He says it will help the United States with an important goal. Based on the new technology and the, and the resources that are here right on North American soil, uh, to have the ability to really confidently say that we can be energy secure in our lifetime by 2020. The 1,179-mile, $1 billion proposed Keystone XL pipeline would carry oil from tar sands in western Canada to refineries along the Texas Gulf Coast. Reed says the project would benefit the country long term. We're talking about the ability to have the manufacturing rebirth in America that I see, uh, the opportunity to make it here, sell it there. This is all a key component of it. Reed says enough research has been done and it's time for the idea of the pipeline to become a reality. It's been studied. I understand everybody wants to do this safely, responsibly. And let's let the facts dictate. And I think right now, after years of study and the conclusions being what they are, it's time to move forward. Recently, members of Congress and other groups across the country have spoken out about why they do or do not support the project. But one person who hasn't is President Obama. And his administration says with so many factors to consider, the president is in no rush to make a final decision. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Adams.